Amazon. It's the 800 pound gorilla in the room gobbling up nearly 50% of all online sales. But before it became the place we can go and search for any item we want, how did new people find out that Amazon existed? And why is this book so important? Well, make sure you watch this entire video because we're going to do a little hacking and find out the truth about the search engine rankings that Amazon drives so many sales from. You might even want to watch this video twice so it sinks in, because if you get the point I'm trying to make, you can make money online. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And you can use any of the niches I'm about to hack into for affiliate marketing, selling your own products, drop shipping, becoming an Amazon affiliate, and yes, even selling on Amazon. What you are about to witness is highly sensitive information. Make sure you watch this video twice so it sinks in and you can learn exactly how this works. When Amazon first started out, they had a lot of directions they could take. Do we sell electronics, sporting goods, home goods, or books? And in the beginning, they chose books because of the vast amount of titles. Now, why in the world would this make a difference and how did it contribute to them becoming the biggest online retail in history? Because of the vast number of books available and the long tail keywords used to find those books, Amazon utilized Google to rank in the search engines. So they would have book number one, the title, that would link back to Amazon and get them traffic. They'd have book two, the title, and that would go to Amazon to get them traffic. And on and on they went with thousands of book titles. Each of these titles drove traffic back to Amazon so they could sell the book and make money. It's actually pretty simple, but brilliant. And you're gonna find that the most profitable business concepts are actually really simple and kind of boring, which is why no one pays attention to them because they'd rather be entertained than make money. Which is why right now, I'm gonna show you a simple little hack plus 77 keywords ripe for the picking that you can use to make money. Now, before we dive into these Amazon crazy niches, I gotta give you a warning because when you do this hack, you're gonna see some things you can't unsee. That's right, there's people searching on Amazon and Google for some really weird stuff. Stuff you might not wanna know about. Stuff you shouldn't know about. Stuff you wouldn't know about. So we're gonna put this list over here and I'll show you during this video where you can actually download that list. But first, I wanna point something out that's very important. This is a screenshot or an actual page of SimilarWeb showing the results for Amazon.com. Now it's very important because I want you to get this concept. Number one, this ranks number 12. That means there's only 11 other websites on the internet that get more traffic than Amazon. Now, if we scroll down to the traffic overview, we can see the total number of visits is about 2.2 billion visitors. The average person spends about six minutes or seven minutes on the site. Only 36% leave without doing anything. And now, drum roll please, I wanna show you a statistic that's super important. And that is the traffic sources for amazon.com. We can see here 57.93% go directly to Amazon.com. That means they simply type Amazon.com in their browser and go to the store to buy their stuff. 6.5% come from referrals from other websites, almost 5% from social, 2.3% from email, and less than 1% from display. But take a look at this number right here. This means that nearly 28% of all of Amazon's traffic is coming from the search engines. Wait, what? That's right. Someone goes to Google, searches for a product, sees Amazon.com, clicks it, and ends up on Amazon. Hmm, maybe this Marcus guy's onto something after all. I better keep watching. That means out of the 200 million unique visitors that goes to Amazon every month, 60 million of them start on a search engine. And now we're getting to the good part. If you were to type amazon.com into your keyword tool, we're using ahrefs here, 
that over 136 million keywords show Amazon in the results. And just for a little insight as to why Amazon and Jeff Bezos made so much money last year, take a look at one of their top search results. They're ranking number one for the word N95 mask. And that search term gets over 1.4 million searches a month. And to show you a little bit more about how this hack works, we can actually go ahead and isolate keywords to include or exclude from our search. I'll have a list of these that you can find at the end of this video where you can download them and use them yourself to find cool niches. For right now, let's take a look at this. We actually use the word reviews. You can see all kinds of reviews that people are looking for on Amazon for various different types of products. Some of these are getting like 105,000 searches a month or more. You think you could sell a few products if you had 105,000 people looking for reviews on the exact product you're trying to sell? I think so too. You can also put in something like sweater. If you want to sell sweaters or something, I know all those people are talking about print on demand and sell t-shirts and all that. Here's a really cool way to do it. You can actually see what people are searching for in Google and what they're going to Amazon to buy. So you can actually sell it on your own store or just put it on Amazon and make money without doing a whole lot of stuff. We could see here all kinds of different sweaters that people are looking up from different print to different types to sweaters for dogs, for oversized sweaters, and on and on we go. You can also see we did a search using the word rechargeable. We got different massage guns, all kinds of different rechargeable thi- Okay, yeah, there's some weird stuff down here. All right, cut, cut. Let's go to the next one. That's some interesting things people want batteries for, I'll tell you that. Next, we typed in the word inflatable. Wait, inflatable what? Ah, don't worry. It's just a hot tub. We could see over 107,000 people a month are searching for inflatable hot tub. And these things are like 600 bucks. Imagine selling a thousand of those a month. Bet the other gurus didn't tell you about that one. We also have inflatable pools, bounce houses, inflatable couches, which is kind of interesting. They actually want inflatable furniture, inflatable paddleboard, water slides, movie screens, and on and on we go. And you can see some of these have really low competition here, which means you can get in front of these people and make money without a lot of work. And now, apparently Amazon thinks I'm some kind of inflatable hot tub enthusiast. Good thing I didn't look up the other stuff that we had to cut out of the video, right? My family would think I'm nuts. But let's continue on. Here is the big list of the Amazon crazy niche keywords. The first one I found was the word French fry cutter, which has over 20,000 searches a month, less than three on a scale of one to 100 for competition, and Amazon is ranking number one. Now this is a cool niche because you can actually go to like Alibaba or a dropshipper and you could sell these things all day long. And some of these, like this one for 67 or 16, you can get these for like a couple dollars, drop ship them, ship them yourself, or even do fulfilled by Amazon where you ship a bunch to Amazon and then they send them out. And since this is a keyword that's actually looked up, your chances of getting sales are actually pretty high. And if you want to do this the easy route, you can actually review these products, link to Amazon as an affiliate, or link to other places as an affiliate that have these same kind of things. The key here is in realizing that lots of people are searching for this stuff. We could also see here the Dymo Label Writer 450, which is like a $300 unit, has about 21,000 searches a month. Again, the competition's pretty much nothing. And if we type this into our keyword tool, you could see that there's lots of other keywords they're typing in that have pretty much no competition. Look at all this stuff. Tons and tons of traffic for the Dymo label printer. You could sell this as an affiliate or pretty much do whatever you want. Maybe help them repair it or give them a better option. You name it. This is super easy. And since they're looking for a label printer, they're probably doing drop shipping or some kind of shipping business. And you can even help them out with that. Pretty cool, right? The next one we have here is a very specific type of sweater. I think it's a gag gift or something like that and it actually sells pretty well. Then we have a specific type of battery, the LR41 battery, 
you could see lots of people looking for all these different batteries. This is literally insane. And you could sell all kinds of batteries and build yourself up over time as like a battery type store or something like that, or even just be an affiliate. I mean, look at this. The competition is literally non-existent and there's lots of people searching for this specific battery. Next, we have people looking for specific cords, HDMI to VGA. And again, if you look at this one in detail, this has got a lot of different keywords related to it, and the competition's not very high at all. And you could literally teach people how to hook up cords and show them where to buy cords and all kinds of stuff like that, because people are buying this stuff like crazy. You just gotta get in front of them. We have 120 hertz monitor, which is a specific type of gaming monitor, I believe, where it like refreshes really quick. You could see over 41,000 people are searching for that. And again, remember, Someone doesn't just wake up one day and search 120 hertz monitor for their health. They search it because they want to buy it, which is pretty simple. Next up, we have magic shaving powder. I don't need to use shaving powder yet because I'm 41 and I still can't grow a beard. But these people are looking this stuff up like crazy. You got magic shaving powder with only a one competition and over 53,000 searches a month. Then, of course, we have fiber optic Christmas trees, which actually do sell on Amazon and other sites. And believe it or not, I used to have a fake Christmas tree website years ago where we sold like fake Christmas trees and stuff like that. By fake, I mean not actually a tree. They were like wiry ones like you get at Walmart. And we actually sold quite a few of those using free search engine traffic. So I know for a fact that this stuff works and it sells product like crazy and you could get in there and start making money because they're telling you exactly what they want. We also have floor chair, whatever a floor chair is. I thought all chairs went on the floor, but apparently, you know, I'm missing out on ceiling chairs and wall chairs, but uh, you could see here lots of people are looking for all kinds of floor chairs and floor mats and things like that. And if we look at the competition here, it's pretty much non-existent. There's nothing like Japanese floor chair, hard floor chair mat, floor chair with back support. I mean, come on, you could be selling chairs right now instead of just sitting in them. Yeah, while you're sitting there in your chair, you might as well sell some chairs, right? Next up, we have another chair, which is a pink gaming chair. Apparently, people want pink chairs. I don't know if that would look good in my office here, but lots of people are looking up pink gaming chairs, and you search for it here on Amazon, and these things are like 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, and on and on we go. So even with Amazon's lousy commission rate, you could still make money reviewing pink gaming chairs. Of course, if that's your thing. But hey, this one also comes in blue, green, black, and everything. If you think I need a pink gaming chair, let me know in the comments below. Next up, we have a Lavoit air purifier coming in at 35,000 searches a month with a competition of two, and Amazon's ranking number one. You could see lots and lots of different people searching for different things related to this air purifier, and it comes in at like 200 bucks. So again, if you do drop shipping or sell it yourself, or even affiliate marketing, you could make a lot of money off of this traffic here. Next up, we have Weirder Home Gym, or Wider Home Gym. Is it wider or weirder? I don't know. But over 17,000 people a month are searching for that. Competition's pretty much nothing. You can see all kinds of different keywords related to the different products and reviews and model numbers and everything like that. And these things are ranging anywhere from 300 bucks up to several thousand dollars. And you could make a lot of money selling this stuff or reviewing it or make a website about it or whatever it is. Note, make sure you watch out for trademark terms. Never step on any toes of trademarks. Make sure you do everything ethically. And always remember that the average person trying to do this stuff makes nothing. So we have no idea what you're going to make. This is a business. Even Jeff Bezos thought he had less than a 30% chance of success. But now he's the richest man in the world. Interesting, isn't it? Next up, we have over 29,000 people looking up Naruto headband each and every month. I don't know what a Naruto is, but I know what a headband is. And that's going to sell a lot of headbands if you do it the right way. And then... Huh. That's interesting. Over 15,000 people a month are looking up stripper pole. Yep. Apparently, that's a sport now. 
And not only can you sell this on Amazon and get a piece of like 179 bucks or whatever it is, you can actually see there's other sites that are dedicated to just this specific niche. And they're raking it in big time. And number 17 is Home Theater Power Manager. I think that's a fancy way to say like power strip, but in home theater ease, fancy talk, right? You got 20,000 people a month, barely any competition. Some of these power strips are like a hundred bucks or more. I don't even want to know how much a power manager is, but based on the searches, these things are selling like crazy. We have Marvel Collector Corpse, whatever that is, 7,500 searches a month. Oh, man. And then, of course, we have Card Shuffler for people that can't shuffle cards. That comes in at over 14,000 searches a month with only two on the competition score. This is easily something you can go to Alibaba or Dropship or whatever it is and turn around and sell it for five times what you pay for it. And you know people are buying this because over 14,000 people a month search for it. Next, we have laptop tables. I've bought way too many of these than I'd care to admit, so I could work while I'm hanging out. And apparently over 21,000 people have the same exact problem. And again, you could buy these wholesale for pennies on the dollar and sell them for a profit. We also have moisture wicking t-shirts. Whatever that means, apparently 19,000 people a month want one of those moisture wicking t-shirts. You can sell it as an affiliate marketer, drop ship it, wholesale it, or even import the product yourself. Wait a minute, is this where non-smart people go to drink? Oh, oh, a dip bar for working out. Yeah, I don't do a lot of working out, but we could see over 11,000 people a month are looking for a dip bar and the competition's non-existent. Next, we have Demon Slayer earrings, 10,000 searches a month with a zero on the competition score. Star Projector, 17,000 searches a month, and one competition. We also have slipper socks for people looking to keep them feet warm and not slip or something like that. 15,000 people a month, barely any competition. Wait a minute. What the heck is that? 95,000 searches a month? I gotta look this up. People are seriously looking for a bucket Toilet? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, someone out there, while you're struggling to make money online, is making a killing selling bucket pots. What? Next up, this one's kind of interesting. It's a cat hammock. I got this mental picture of what it would be like to try to get a cat in a hammock. But, you know, people are looking it up, and you can see there's over 14,000 searches a month on the main keyword alone. And the competition, again, is pretty non-existent. So this could definitely be a good niche to be in. And according to Amazon, these are pretty popular and coming in at about 20 bucks a pop. So this is something you can actually make a living at. And, you know, my idea of what a cat hammock was and what it actually is were two different things. I think a little fluffy will fit into this cat hammock a little bit better than I imagined. Ah. Next... We have Plant Mister. Back in my day, we called these spray bottles. But apparently now, they are Plant Misters, and over 6,800 people a month search for them, and there's pretty much no competition here. We could see all kinds of subcategory words, and if we check on Amazon, we could see that these glorified spray bottles are in fact 10, 12, even $15 or more. And between you, me, and the wall, you could get these for 50 cents on the old Alibaba. Hmm, that's a pretty good markup. Next up, we have GrowTrax reviews at 6,600 searches a month. Wi-Fi card for PC at 12,000 searches a month. Styrofoam coolers for those who don't want to just get a regular cooler. And we can see there's a lot of people searching for this. And again, you know, it sells pretty well. You could see these things are like $32, which, why wouldn't you just buy a regular cooler? I don't know. But at any rate, these are selling like crazy, and lots of people are searching for them. And you can even upsell them into fancy coolers. I've seen websites out there that make a full-on living just reviewing different coolers and things like that. 
So don't tell me your old buddy Marcus didn't give you some good niche ideas here. And there's more coming up. Next up, we have Audru Jump Starter, some kind of fancy jump starter for your car. 12,000 searches a month. Another battery coming in at 10,000 searches a month. Inflatable couches at 8,300 searches a month and only two on competition. Super long Ethernet cables at 11,000 searches a month. And this next one is pretty specific. They're actually looking for a Harry Potter Advent Calendar. I think that's one of those little calendars you open the little doors at Christmas time, but with Harry Potter on it. Now in this one, you'll probably want to be an affiliate because of licensing rights, but it could be a pretty good moneymaker. Next, something I've bought quite a few of on Amazon is the LED strip lights. That's right, over 4,700 searches a month. These things sell like crazy. And now for something a little bit more expensive. We have portable AC Amazon. People actually looking for portable air conditioner units. Much like this one I have right here that keeps me cool in the backyard office. Ah, but I have to keep it off when I make these videos, which means I'm practically sweating here to make this video for you. And we could see here 134,000 people a month looking for portable air conditioners. And these things are like 900 bucks a pop. So there's a lot of money in this market, especially considering that Home Depot, Best Buy, and other big box affiliate stores pay as much as 10% commission when you sell these bad boys. So that can be pretty lucrative. Next, we have Tortilla Maker, some kind of specific tortilla maker. This falls under the As Seen on TV product category, which if you can find a good affiliate program, these As Seen on TV guys pay more than the product costs. So if I sell a tortilla maker for like 12 bucks, I end up getting like 25 commission. These are one of my favorite types of affiliate programs. And if you don't think you can make money with it, get out of here. With over 8,100 searches a month, I think you got a pretty good shot. Next, we have earring backs, people who lose the backs of their earrings, 8,000 searches a month. And we have a matcha whisk. What the heck is a matcha whisk? Don't worry, I had to look it up too. But we could see over 6,700 people a month are looking up a matcha whisk. And basically what it is, is a fancy whisk for your tea. That's right. These people are spending like $15 to $30 for a fancy whisk so they could stir their green matcha tea. Hey, wait a minute. That looks kind of familiar. Hmm. Three bucks? Twelve bucks. Three bucks? 12 bucks. Hmm. Better get that beard cream. Next, we have Paula Dean Air Fryer, 7,900 searches a month. A portable bathtub for people who want to take a bath in random places, apparently. 7,600 searches a month. Get off, Napoleon. Make yourself a dang quasadilla. Next, we have a quesadilla maker coming in at 12,000 searches a month. And if you know the movie I referenced, put it as a comment below. We got a butter dish coming in at 13,000 searches a month. Hookless shower curtain, 11,000 searches a month. We even got an inflatable dinosaur costume. Over 72,000 searches a month, barely any competition. And I got this buddy who does videos here on YouTube just like me. We've been friends for years. He made a fortune selling Halloween costumes as an affiliate. So don't think for one minute that this will not make you money because this is stuff that really works that I've tested and tried and been doing for 21 years. Next, we have a cheese slicer, 10,000 searches a month, retractable baby gate, 8,100 searches a month. That way you could keep the baby out of where the baby doesn't need to go with the retractable gate. An incense waterfall, never even heard of this, but apparently 25,000 people a month are looking up incense waterfalls. And they're like these weird little things where the smoke looks like a waterfall or something like that. I'm telling you, people got way too much time on their hands and apparently a lot of spare cash. And they're looking these things up and buying them like crazy. Then we have solar powered water pump, 6,400 searches a month. Snorlax bean bag, which I think is some kind of cartoon character. 9,600 searches a month. And for people with hairy backs, 
We got the back shaver of all things. 4,400 people a month looking for a back shaver. A chicken waterer? If you water chickens, do they actually grow? Well, apparently this has quite a few searches. And if we look it up, we can see that it's actually just a fancy water bowl for chickens. Go figure. People are making money watering chickens. Next is a product I can get behind, the Trump toilet brush. Apparently people want some kind of toilet brush that has Trump on it. Maybe so they could use it in one of those portable bucket toilets we saw earlier. I don't know. But at any rate, 4,900 searches a month with barely any competition. We have the toothpaste dispenser at 4,900 searches a month. An egg poacher with 11,000 searches a month. Telescopic fishing rods, 4,400 a month. A peel and stick countertop. What the heck is that? Apparently it has zero competition here. And it looks like it's some kind of sticker to put on your counter. Hey, that looks pretty nice. Next up, I think everyone needs a pair of Grinch pajamas. I got some Grinch pajamas. You need some Grinch pajamas sometime in your life. Over 8,000 searches a month with zero on the competition. And for those that don't know how to cook a steak right, we got the meat tenderizing tool coming in at 4,700 searches a month. And now this next one was pretty interesting. Wait a minute. Dehydrated water? 7,400 searches a month. Can you actually buy this? Let's see what the ingredients are. Dehydrated water, just add water. Wait a minute, wait. Wait, so it's nothing? So 7,400 people a month are looking for a can of nothing? And it's actually selling? Go figure. We have sleeveless hoodie coming in at 13,000 searches a month. A fancy Starbucks confetti cup that's like 40 bucks, 8,300 searches a month. A carpet rake for those that have trees that have leaves inside or something like that, 7,000 searches a month. A bread slicer, 9,700 searches a month. Mickey Mouse waffle maker, 3,600 a month. Heat resistant tape, 5,100 searches a month. A rope ladder for those that want to put a carnival in their backyard. 6,300 searches a month. Zero competition on that bad boy. Elf ears. 19,000 people a month are searching for elf ears? You gotta be kidding me. Grip strengthener, which leads into the bodybuilding market. 4,100 searches a month. A specific 15,000 BTU air conditioner coming in at 5,200 searches a month. A cigar cutter coming in at 8,800 searches a month. Side note, this would be a good one to actually be an affiliate for a cigar company, because if you know they're buying the cutter, they need the thing to cut, which is the cigars, which are pretty expensive. I just bought about 400 bucks worth online today. And if you can get these people to buy from you over and over again, you can make a lot of money. We also have heated toilet seats, 9,900 searches a month. Zero gravity massage chair, 4,500 searches a month. And for people who can't peel oranges, which is apparently 5,000 people a month, we got an orange peeler. And if you want to clean a fish, you don't just clean a fish on a regular table. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you need a fish cleaning table coming in at 4,100 searches a month and practically no competition. Then, of course, we have this weird long number here, which 2,500 people search this up a month and it has no competition. Apparently, this is the exact model number of some kind of pump. Pretty cool, right? So we could go out there and sell pumps all day if that's what you like to do. We have outdoor Wi-Fi extender coming in at 9,800 searches a month with barely any competition. Whew, it's getting hot in here. I really wish I had a neck fan. Yes, <laughs> that's right. 18,000 people a month looking for a neck fan. And last but not least, we have 13,000 people a month looking up bookshelf speakers. Bringing our grand total of searches just for this list alone to 1 million searches a month that are ripe for the taking that you can go and get traffic in. 
And remember my story at the beginning where I talked about how Amazon started as a wee little store selling books and getting traffic? That's exactly what you can start doing by getting traffic to your website and selling things that other marketers don't even talk about. I mean, come on, for crying out loud, we're talking about bucket toilets. And people are making money with this stuff. So stop thinking that every niche is crowded. Stop thinking that you need to go for the big niches like make money and lose weight and credit cards and mortgages. Because ladies and gentlemen, no pun intended, there's a crap ton of money in this list right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, click the bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and tell me something funny in the comments below. And check out this next video about how to use these words to actually get traffic.